Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the expanded universe in chronological order. Folks, we are still going through the Clone Wars mini comic book adventures from the Clone Wars magazines and some of the UK magazines that picked it up afterwards. Here we go. Uh, the next one is called In the Air. Obi-Wan and Yoda sort out a, uh, a plan to, uh, to poison, well, they, they uh, uh, take out a plan to uh, poison the Tiberian gas. Ventress is uh, trying to poison this gas, and it's a good resource for the Republic, and they have to foil her plan. Ventress is foiled again, but yet she gets away. Uh, the uh, oh, Yoda, while Obi-Wan is fighting Ventress, Yoda enlists some uh, animals, some creatures, to kind of suck up and inhale the gas. It won't hurt the creatures, though. Uh, the next one is in triplicate. Anakin goes on a mission to find out who kidnapped Padme Amidala. He's mad because he heard that Padme got captured. But when he gets there, he finds out there, there's two Padmes. They're both fakes. And he realizes that immediately. It was just all a setup to find out who was behind, you know, this kidnapping ploy uh, for Senator Amidala. And he goes, I just wish one of you would have clued me in on it or I wouldn't have pursued it. He went, Anakin, Obi-Wan said, if we would have told you, you wouldn't have made it more realistic by pursuing her. He said, I hate how everything in the Republic is in triplicate or whatever. So there, there's the name. I guess that's supposed to be funny. I don't know. Anyway. Leisure is the next one. Obi-Wan, uh, Anakin, and Ahsoka go on a pod race, go to a pod race, and during it, they foil a Separatist plot. The Separatists have a big gun, like a huge gun. And Ahsoka goes, is that a pod? He's like, no, that's a giant gun. They're going to shoot the pod racers, and so they have to stop the, stop the big gun. It's a children's comic book, okay? Uh, the next one's called Fashion. Padme goes to a fashion uh, fashion show with uh, C-3PO and Obi-Wan Kenobi. They see Ventress and said, she's not here for fashion. N no, she's not. Good job, Padme. Uh, Mace Windu's been tracking her, so he, he, he enlists uh, Padme Amidala to help her capture or foil whatever plan Ventress is up to. And of course they do, and of course Ventress gets away, but that's fine. Uh, the next one is called Lockdown. Uh, the bad guy from Hyper... This is the sequel to Hyper Matters, even though it came out several issues later. Uh, das is the Republic... I mean, I'm sorry, the Separatist saboteur who was in Hyper Matters. Well, now he's imprisoned, and there's a breakout, a prison breakout. And Obi-Wan and Mace Windu rush to stop the prisoner breakout. And there's this other prisoner there with him. I, I, I don't know who's like half mechanical, half man, even though he looks all man. And as they're trying to escape from this prison plan, he gets captured. Everyone gets captured, but the mechanical guy who his fingers can be pulled off as bombs, I don't know. And at the end, they're like, oh, he must have died because he runs to a ship and the ship explodes. And, oh, he must have died. And then there's this R5 droid that they show a shadow of his face behind it like he downloaded his essence into the R5 droid. He went, who knows? We may see him again. And you're thinking, oh, okay, so there's going to be a part three? No. There's nothing about this. It's really weird. Nothing's really mentioned about who he is. I mean, he's he is somewhat of an android. I don't know. He looks human, though. I don't know. That, that was kind of confusing to me. The next one is called Colony Crisis. On Mon Calamari, underwater, they are mining or doing something. And, of course, there's this sentient sponge or whatever they didn't know was sentient. And they've enlisted uh, Di Diagnas from Star Wars and the garbage chute, even though they get big under these waters, and these diagnosts keep uh, attacking them on Calamari. They don't know why. That's because these spongy, you know, sea creatures that they don't know are creatures are enlisting those uh, cre uh, the diagnosts to attack the Mon Calamari. And then eventually, uh, Obi-Wan realizes that because he can speak out to them through the Force, and he makes a peace treaty between both. Mon Calamari decides, oh, we'll dig somewhere else. We can, we can live in harmony with one another. A classic, you know, generic story you hear all the time. Next one is called Mask of Iron. A scientist has come up with a liquid metal that covers people and, you know, makes them do what he wants. They become robots with internal uh, human organs. I don't know. Anyway, this mask, this, this iron casting is liquid. And so when one person gets knocked out, it finds a new host and it encases of... Uh, Anakin. And so Anakin has to fight Obi-Wan. He doesn't want to. But, you know, Obi-Wan outwits the scientist by knocking out Anakin and then move, force blowing the liquid metal suit onto the scientist, who now Obi-Wan can now control. And at the end, Anakin says he never wants to wear a metal suit again. I gotcha. He'll be Darth Vader one day. All right. Next one's called Downhill. 
Um, uh, Anakin uh, infiltrates a separatist base, uh, and they're trying to stop. Uh, well, they're trying to stop a bomb bombing, but they discover. Well, no, no, no. They're marking. He and Obi Wan are marking a fa- uh, faculty uh, that's going to be bombed by the Republic, but they have to put, you know, like put the place marker because they can't find it in this dense jungle. Well, then they find out there are kids nearby. So then they have to escape with the kids to get them out of the range of the bomb, which they do. Uh, the next one's called Power Down. Anakin accompanies Padme on uh, some Senate talks, which are, of course are hijacked by separatist droids who are trying to kill Padme. The lights go out, which is why it's called pow- Power Down. And Anakin saves the day, even though 3PO, who's there, he thinks he and R2 saved the day. And they didn't. But uh, the next one's called Bane versus Bane. I was thinking, wait, Darth Bane? No, it's Cad Bane. Cad Bane goes after an imposter who's kind of a fat-looking Cad Bane. And it turns out that that was, as he defeats all these bad guys really quickly, he finds out that the imposter, or he knew all the time, I guess, was one of his old friends who just wanted to make a a fast buck for himself by pretending to be Cad Bane. So Cad Bane lets him live to to carve out his own legacy. Next one's Runaway Starfighter, Obi-Wan. Uh, basically has a starfighter that sabotage when he gets in it it shoots straight toward the planet's moon the prince of the planet thinks that Obi-Wan's creating sabotage actually it's the separatist trying to make the you know Jedi look bad so Anakin has to find a way to stop Obi-Wan's starfighter which Obi-Wan's trapped inside he does and then they reveal that the separatists were behind it all the while and the prince you know sides with the Republic instead of the Separatists. And he learns a lesson to being humble. He, he wasn't humble. He was kind of haughty around the Jedi, and he assumed too much. I don't know, everyone has to learn a lesson, I guess. Uh, the next one's called Younglings. Anakin takes some younglings on a hike, uh, and he tells them about you know the importance of being a Jedi and whatnot. And then this beast comes out of nowhere, scratches him. It has some kind of paralyzing poison inside of it, and it runs away, and Anakin kind of passes out. He's paralyzed, so the younglings have to get their way back to the temple. And or get their way back to the ship, I guess. They're not, they're not on Coruscant. And the beast appears, but one of the younglings notices he's got a thorn in his paw. So the Padawan sneaks up behind him while he's growling at all the Padawans or the younglings, and he pulls the thorn out, and the beast is happy and runs away. And Anakin's happy because, you know, they save the day. They work together as a team. They all did it together. These, this one youngling was bullying another one, and, you know, now, now they're friends. Uh, the next one's called Seeds. Yoda uh, and some clone troopers take out a separatist army. After the damage is done, they say, oh, it's all, it's all for naught. The farm has been destroyed. And Yoda goes, no, you know, we'll plant new seeds here and it will grow again. All right, I get it. Nice little story. All right, folks, that's it for now. I'll come back with more short stories next time.